Straight from the bottom, fuck it, it I earned it. Fuck all these bitches, cause all of them burdens. Don't got no time to be wasting, I'm working. Talk about money, that's all I'm deserving. Hop in my back, call What's good, YouTube? This is FNF Wapo. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you tune into any of my songs on this channel, any songs I'm dropping on this channel. It's finna get lit. Let's get straight to the video. As you can see in the background, I got some gameplay for y'all to watch while I'm telling this story. But to kick the story off, boom, how we met. We met off of Snapchat. So we met off of Snapchat. You know, I ended up swiping up on her story, like with hard eyes, whatever I did. You know, we start to get to know each other. You know, we got the basic fundamentals under control. You know, what's your name? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? You know, the basic shit that no one cares about in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So boom, come to find out she didn't live too far from me. So at the time I didn't have a car and I was driving my mama's car. So I'm driving my mama's car at the time. And it ain't like she was expecting me to have my own car. I was still in high school or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? So I ended up pulling up on her. And as y'all know, the first time y'all pull up on someone that you've never seen in person before, only on social media, whatever, is awkward. You know what I'm saying? So so we ended up just having a normal car conversation, you know, for the first time we linked up. Um, all of this vibing in the car ended up turning to me coming to her house. So what I just realized while telling the story was this was my first time actually ever going to her house. Um, it wasn't nothing planned for like, oh yeah, you finna come over on this day and he gonna be here. It was not none of that. It was just a coincidence that nigga was there. So boom. I come over, I decided to walk. I think it was in the summer. It had to be the summer because I wasn't finna walk in no winter for no coochie, but boom. So as I'm halfway there walking, she texts me and say, yeah, so basically everybody left except my dad. And I'm like, damn. So I'm halfway home, halfway to her house. So the choice is mine, right? So I decided to just go through with it, obviously. So boom, as I got to her house, I had to be careful going through her fence because I guess the room is right by the um like i guess the front they can hear the, if the fence moving or whatever so i damn near had to just hop that bitch but i um i get to her house you know we, we um she opened the door for me i'm quiet you know the whole you know we hug each other and shit but like we're quiet the whole time right man so i'm in that bitch fake whispering like oh yeah the house is upstairs right now oh shit where we gonna go you know what i'm saying so i'm in that bitch like what, what's the plan what's the move what we finna do so basically I had to go up the steps right behind her. I had to match her footsteps. If y'all ever been through that situation, y'all know how crucial it's like. It's like doing your homework last minute while the teacher walking around the class collecting the homework that was doing. And that bitch fake John Cena in that hole, you know, you can't see me, you feel me? So I'm in that bitch, huh, 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 going up the steps right behind her or whatever. So the crazy thing is his room right next door to hers. So as I'm walking, I'm damn near thinking he finna open the door, finna go to the bathroom or just go do some home shit, you feel me? So boom, next thing you know, we in her room, we chilling, we vibing, whatever. I don't care if y'all call me soft. I'm in there, heart racing, speed running racing, you feel me? I thought he was finna do some never before and seen, never before act. One of them days, it's just one of them days. He just opened her door out of nowhere, you know? I'm thinking we finna be in trouble, you know? I ain't gonna perk. Fuck her being in trouble, nigga. I'm thinking I'm finna be dead that day, you feel me? I'm, I damn near was planning my escape the whole time we in there just chilling on our phone. She thinking I'm just on my phone, boy. I'm writing down some, I'm writing down some suggestions if I get called. We so get I stopped caught. being on some scary stuff. I ended up telling her, like, come lay on me, you feel me? Start getting physical or whatever with each other. But the whole time, this, that shit's still in the back of my head. Don't forget that. I'm, that's still in my head. Like, yeah, this dude finna pop in this room, and I'm gonna have to start swinging. No questions asked. So we need to land up with each other, whatever. You know, the whole point of me coming over was for us to do to do. Um, but we had to give it some time, you know, feel the vibe in the house, make sure that nigga wasn't. He, we actually kept hearing that nigga footsteps in the hallway. The first time he opened the door, bro, my heart sunk. Like I said, that, that shit was in the back of my head. I'm ready to get up. She, she's scared too. That's her damn daddy. So. And I ain't gonna perk. After a while, after we kept hearing him walk around in the hallway and open his door, I stopped giving a fuck at some point. I'm like, man, fuck this shit. He gonna catch me with his daughter bent the fuck over. You feel me? I ain't gonna perp. That was in my mindset at that point. At that point, it was it was we was already too far in. It ain't no point for me to even turn around or whatever. So I'm like, man, he gonna either catch us or not. It is what it is. So once we felt the time was right, you know what I'm saying? You know, we both got butterball naked in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? She ended up giving me some head or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then I ended up putting it in. Once I put it in, that's why I'm like, man, we too far in. It ain't no, ain't no, oh, uh, we was just over here for to study together. Like, nah, it was, we was in that bitch fucking. That's what we were doing. If he did end up catching us, and I ended up telling him, like, yeah, I'm over here so me and her can study, like, before we even took our clothes off and stuff, my nigga, that would have been the dumbest shit because, bro, like I said, it had to be the summer for me to even be walking to her house and, you know what I'm saying? He would have been like, nigga, y'all ain't in school. y'all. It's summertime. What the fuck you talking about y'all studying for? You know what I'm saying? So I'm in that bitch clapping cheeks. You feel me? Uh, 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 her dad walking in the hallway and shit. I'm like, man, this nigga finna catch me, and I do not care. I'm like, man, fuck it. YOLO, you feel me? 
So she and Doggy Style, like I said, even though I'm on some bullshit at that moment, but I still was trying to be quiet. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, I don't give a fuck, but I still don't want to be known that I'm in this bitch. You so like me? I said, we butterball naked in her room. And so, like I said, she was in Doggy Style. We ended up switching positions. I um, She was finna get on top of me and ride me and shit. But somewhere in my fucking heart and my fucking soul, my intuition told me this nigga finna open the door. Like I said in the beginning, I kept feeling like he was finna do it just because, like, it's just, I was like, man, it's one of them days where some off the wall shit finna just happen out of nowhere. So I tell her, I'm like, man, let me get my clothes together. Cause you know, I got one sock over here, one shoe over there, my shirt over here, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, let me get myself together. Let me put it in this corner where like, you know, it's on the other side of her bed. So they, like, if you can't see it when you just walk in. So next thing you know, he called her name. Um, shit, for the video, we're gonna call her name fucking Michaela. He, Michaela. And I'm like, damn, this, like, it's just perfect time. And I'm like, damn, this really finna happen. Like, I'm like, bro, I'm dead. So in the middle of me putting my stuff on the other side of her bed, or I guess you could say other side of her room, you know, she responds, she, yeah. And he ended up saying, like, what's that smell? I don't recall myself putting on any kind of, like, cologne on, um, unless I had some kind of other distinctive smell, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um... So what ended up happening, what she ended up saying was basically, it was probably her brother, you know, and the, like he ended up leaving um, not too long ago. So it was probably him. He probably just got some new shit. And she just, you know, like fake playing it off. Like, I don't know like, what you talking about. Like, so the whole time she's like, I don't know. I don't know. And I guess if you got, um, I guess if you got a daughter and you a dad or whatever, I guess the daughter could talk to you a little bit more aggressive than the son. I guess if the son says some shit, you damn near punching his ass in his chest or something. But I guess since that's his daughter, he kind of was like, you know, you act like your mama. So. You feel me? He letting it slide. So he letting it slide or whatever. And then I hear this nigga running up the fucking steps while I'm still standing. I'm telling you, I'm my shit just swinging all out. You feel me? Cheeks out, all the same with her. She cheeks out, titties out, all that. So I hear this nigga running up the steps. I'm like, bro, that ain't no normal running up the. Not not like he jog, like running up them bitches. He just like you know like doom 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 like coming up them hoes. You feel me? So I threw her a towel so fucking fast. I I just knew he was finna open the door. So what basically happened was. He opened, like, I threw her the towel, she put it on, and he opened the door. He didn't open it on some, like, trying to catch her doing something, like, obviously, like, we was doing shit, but he opened it on some shit, like, because I get that she got some mail or some shit, so he ended up handing her the mail, but he didn't open it all the way, but I'm, bro, I'm telling you, you know when you hide behind the door, and you can see that, like, when you open it, like, that little crack between the opening of the door and then, like, the wall or whatever, my nigga, if he would have looked right there, bro. I'm telling you, it would have been OV for me. Nah, fuck, that would have been OV for him. Ball would have curved ball the fuck out my fist around that fucking door. If he would have seen me, bro, I'm telling you, I would have been fighting that nigga. It was straight naked. I wouldn't care. But anyway, so boom. He ended up telling her, like, basically, get ready. They finna leave. They finna go to the store. They finna go shopping or whatever because they got to get a gift for their mama. I guess her birthday was, like, the next day or two. Some shit. Like, it was just some bullshit. Like, you feel me on some, like, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, some off-the-wall shit. I just felt it that day. And the crazy thing is, I ain't never went over there ever since. Not because of that, but me and her just stopped talking after that. But but I ain't gonna purr. Once he left and all of that, you know, we got right back to the business. Like I said, we waited till a, a good time again or whatever. So we ended up doing the do. You know, everything got done to finish. You know, I put my clothes back on. She put her shit back on. So he was in the kitchen for a minute cooking. I don't know what the fuck that nigga was cooking, but I just know he was cooking, though. So he, once he ended up coming upstairs or whatever, he got in his room. Um... You know, we did the same thing going back down. I had to match her footsteps, you know. I still had to sneak out at the fence because, like I said, the fence loud or whatever. You got, like, a little, like, that eh, noise to it or whatever when you open it. So, I ended up having to um, jump that fence again. Like, straight run and just jump that bitch. Not no hang on the fence and jump, climb over. Nah, nigga, I'm talking about I straight Olympic hurdle that bitch. You feel me? I'm hyping it, y'all. I ain't just jump over that bitch without no hands or nothing. I ran, you know what I'm saying? Did one of them hood. <clears throat> you feel me? One of them type of jumps. But yeah, so I ended up walking home after that or whatever. Like I said, that was the last time. That was the first and last time I went over to her house. And like I said, we don't even speak no more after that. Um, it ain't, like I said, it ain't because of her dad was there. It just, shit, we ended up texting afterwards or whatever. I think I just didn't really like her that much or whatever, but... You know what I'm saying? No no hate or nothing towards her. It's just shit. Like, at the time, I just wasn't fucking with her. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much how the story went, though, for real, for real. So, you know what I'm saying? I ended up just walking over there, sneaking over. Then he almost opened the door on me. But I luckily was right behind that door. Um, and then I ended up leaving right after. But, yeah, y'all. So, shit, I got some more crazy stories, including the same girl um, and some other shit that happened during my life or whatever. But, yeah, if y'all fuck with the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if y'all new. 
tune into my music whenever I'm dropping, or you can also go listen to any of my songs that I already dropped. That's um, pretty much why I made this account. I used to do YouTube, if y'all didn't know, um, but pretty much this whole YouTube account was created for me to drop my music on or whatever, but I decided to just do other things besides just making music. I just want to be able to do YouTube and be able to create music or whatever. So if y'all create music or whatever, and I could put it in my videos or whatever, I could just give it a listen. If you just want me to listen, if you up and coming or whatever, just make sure y'all comment up under so I can um, tune into y'all shit as well. But yeah, other than that, if you fuck with the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. This FNF Wapo, I'm out. <laughs>